Tax Day Lunar Eclipse. Hey there, stargazers. I'm Dean Regis, astronomer for the Cincinnati Observatory. And I'm James Albury, director of the Kika Silva Plot Planetarium in Gainesville, Florida. We're here to help you find your way around the sky. But we have bad sky news. We're going to be missing our fellow stargazer, Marlene Hidalgo. That's right. For the past two years, Marlene has helped us show you the stars. But she's hanging up her hoverboard and moving with her family to the Northeast. We wish her all the luck in the universe and we'll miss her at Stargazers. Keep, Keep looking, looking up, Marlene. Marlene. Hey, Dean, when do you usually do your taxes? Oh my gosh, my taxes, I haven't even done them yet. Well, in case you keep forgetting, you'll have a celestial reminder this year. On tax day, April 15th, we'll have a total lunar eclipse. That's right. Now, you're going to have to stay up really late for this eclipse. Or get up really early. Let's show you the tax day lunar eclipse and a few other things to look for on that really early morning. Okay, we have our sky set for the night of Sunday, April 13th at about 9.30. We're facing east-southeast and can spot the almost full moon. Next to it is a bright star-like object. I say star-like because it's no star, but is, in fact, the red planet Mars. Mars is over 57 million miles away from us and only looks like it's near the moon. The moon is about 240,000 miles away, about 237 times closer than Mars. Lower toward the horizon, you'll find a bright blue-colored star that is actually a star. It's called Spica, and it's the brightest star in the constellation, Virgo the Maiden. The moon is thousands of miles away. The planets are millions of miles away, but that's nothing compared to the stars. Spica is about 1.5 quadrillion miles away. Wow. Now, let's skip ahead one day and make it Monday, April 14th at 9.30 p.m. The moon is now full and has shifted over next to Spica. At this point, the sun, Moon and Earth are almost in perfect alignment. In a few short hours, the eclipse will begin. Lunar eclipses happen when the Earth is directly between the Sun and Moon. The Earth casts a shadow that goes out into space in a cone shape. When the Moon orbits into the shadow cone, we have a lunar eclipse. This can only happen at a full moon, but doesn't happen every full moon. The Moon's orbit is tilted a little bit, so only during the rare occasions when everything lines up do we have an eclipse. Okay, let's get to the eclipse. Timing is important, and we'll be using Eastern Daylight Time here, so you'll have to adjust depending on your time zone. We need to set the sky in motion and move our time forward to 11 o'clock, midnight, 1 a.m. on April 15th, and now 2 a.m. At around 2 a.m. Eastern Time, you'll start to see the rounded shadow of the Earth encroach onto the lunar surface. After about an hour, the shadow will cover the entire Moon. We call this totality, and that should occur from 3.06 to 4.25 a.m. During totality, the Moon won't completely disappear. Some sunlight bends through the Earth's atmosphere and still reaches the Moon. This light turns the Moon an eerie shade of orange. To the ancients, this scared the heck out of them, and eclipses were looked upon with fear and dread. Like doing taxes. Exactly. What makes a lunar eclipse so cool is that you can never know what color it will be. Will it be pale gray, bright orange, or blood red? Only the shadow knows. Each eclipse is different, but when you see that reddish shadow during totality, what you are really seeing is all the sunsets and sunrises of Earth projected onto the moon. Cool. As for the Tax Day Lunar Eclipse, we'll be webcasting it on Ustream from when it starts at 2 a.m. to when it's over at about 5.30 a.m. If you're clouded out where you live, you can watch all the action at Ustream. Check out www.stargazersonline.org for more information. And if you haven't mailed in your taxes by the time the eclipse is over on April 15th, you'll have only a few short hours to do so. Otherwise, this lunar eclipse may signal gloom and doom for you. Or, at the very least, an audit. Keep looking, looking up. up.